I think this time this will work. Eh? Ano yung tawag nila? Bobert? Bobert. Pumunta kami sa Rogers uh, dito sa may Rogers branch office here in Bobert para isin na yung SIM card and then pumunta kami Gano? dun sa may building na yun sa may Sun Life Financial kasi andun yung uh, Service Canada where we will get our SIM SIM card yung pinaka SSS nila Social Security and uh, foreign credentials papacheck namin yung foreign credentials namin so dalang namin yung mga papelos namin napaka classy we tried to get the SIM card the SIM card for the phone first but we were told the ID is required okay so it's it's a learning process for us. So before you arrange any SIM card, especially for new ones like us, you have to get a formal ID first. Photo card or a SIM card, which is the social security card or driver's license, which at the moment we don't have yet. That's why we're going to the other building, which is just right across the street, to uh, uh, arrange all this and then we'll have to go back here in Rogers. Just a typical branch here in, in the in the area. <laughs> Just finished the first Service Canada experience we had and it is very helpful that there are people who really are willing to help. So from our end, uh, we've got the SIM card which is very important. That is a social security number as, as we mentioned. and. That's a very secured number that only you should know and you should not be able to share it with others except for banks and uh, employers and government government offices which sabi nila if they request and normally they don't so that will help that information help and then the rest can be done uh, separately on, on a separate office which is Service Ontario where we will be going now. So the only thing you need for for them to process your SIM is technically the only ID you have is a passport and then the landing papers. That's it. They should be able to give the SIM number already. Okay, because as per as per our uh, situation, we only have our passport and the landing papers. So for them, it's it's more than enough. If you have a phone number which we don't have, they will not force you to to give a phone number to them. They just to just put a note on it because we told them we are still sorting it out with Rogers so but at the moment they already gave us the SIN number so that should be fine for us so only the SIN is the one we have arranged here because for the employment stuff foreign credentials that has to be done on a separate uh, office also going office which we will be going also on those days all right so I hope that helps uh, applying for SIN Service Ontario, which is the provincial government entity of Canada that handles the Ontarians. They call it the Ontarians. So this is where we took the photo card and normally we also ask for a driver's license and health card. Okay, that's the office there. Service Ontario. Simply like. So let me explain a little while I while we walk and see. <laughs> while we walk going for lunch. Ang sinasabi is, you can get the photo card, health card, and driver's license in Service Ontario office, okay? Uh, the fact is, it is partially true, but it has to be very clear. When you get a photo card and the driver's license, you can only get one. Hindi pwede dalawang meron kasi makakancel daw ang isa nun, if ever. So we were asked through the service Ontario uh, to basically choose which ID should I get first 
or which ID should should I prioritize? It's decided that I will take the driver's license and if I have that one, if I will be able to get a driver's license, maka cancel yung photo card. And then for the sake of having an ID at this stage, si Love ngayon ang kumuha ng photo card doon. So nagpa-picture siya doon. So if you think you are a little groggy when you when you come here after two days flying from somewhere else, if you're planning to go to service you should you should have your own makeup already. Or else you will look like a prisoner. <laughs> Okay, you look like a detainee. I have to go to Steel's Avenue for the driver's license because I will have to sit down now for, they said, a two-hour lesson for driving. So, I may have to take that. And then, you know, I'm going ID. ko, hindi na yung photo card. Since you love hindi mo na magpa-plan, or at least not in the near future, magpa-plan na mag-drive, so, kumuha na siya ng photo card. Now, yung health card naman, the health card you will get in Service Ontario it's basically the government provided health card and that one you can only get that after mong receive yung PR which is after 3 months pa once mong receive yung PR you will be asked about any more IDs that you have the PR card itself and then there will be some bank account information not the account itself but at least a certain information about your bank and then some more IDs so they can process the health card, the government approved or government provided health card which is the government of Ontario now, kung, kung ganon at this stage from the day we arrive in Toronto, let's say Pearson Airport we don't have an insurance so in the next day or two we may have to contact some private insurance that we will buy on our own in case magkasakit kami for the next immediate 3 months kasi three, after 3 months pa or 90 days pa na yung makukuha yung PR and automatically mag activate yung, yung service ontario or yung government provided insurance okay so this three is very important that you will have to get from the service ontario office that we went so to so at the moment uh, we will step into that we will have dinner here we just saw a Chinese restaurant we Di pa kami kumaka. <laughs> what did you say? Chinese resto? <laughs> Alright, so we just saw a Chinese restaurant here. We will have to take because ilang araw na kami walang rice. I think three, three days na. So we'll have a full meal here and then we'll go back to the Rogers, which uh, we will get the same card. Rice. For Asians like us, this is heaven <laughs> kanin si madami lahat eh mary brown burritos mexicans pizza italians pita but for us this is filipinos the closest we can have is our friends just right across south china sea chinese which is malasa very tasteful and delicious so rice from the uh, Rogers so technically okay let's let's correct it that way. because uh, I think I just mentioned the previous video that we will need uh, a lot of government IDs Canada based IDs before getting the before getting the phone numbers on the sim cards well technically it's not when we went through two offices they said they just they should be fine with their passport and then the landing papers at the set the passport so after telling that and then meeting Sahil, which is a cool guy in Rogers, so we were able to get our our SIM card. So that part of the requirement of living here with a phone number with a contact because all of the documentations, all the applications are also asking for contact number. So that closes that part of the uh, application. Alright? So that is the Rogers. 
uh, getting a phone number and SIM card. And let's just go. I think we just gotta find a toilet for this bed. Okay. See you later.